Agape love is the love that God gives. It's unconditional and it never ends. The reason God can give it is because he has a firm foundation from which to supply this love that never runs out. He doesn't need reciprocity. He doesn't need loving back. Now, we ought to love him back, but he doesn't need it. He is himself without others loving him back. He will never run out of love to give if it's not given back. He will be fine. He is in relationship with himself and he's constantly pouring love between his triune being and he's able to pour out on us as well. Christians should also do this. And you might say, but Matt, how do we do that? We don't have an everlasting cup. Let me explain. The economy would come to a slamming halt if people started just doing everything for free or giving all their money away or chucking in the paper shredder because the economy is finite. In a good economy, there should be a finite amount of money in a non-corrupt economy. Therefore, transactions key. You should only give money if you're getting something in return. In a world where you're not engaged with Christ and Christ is not your source of love, it only makes sense to be good to people who are going to be good back to you because otherwise you will become destitute. Don't give unless you know you're getting something back because just the math of it, you're going to lose all your money eventually. It's going to be over with. But when you love people unconditionally the way God loves you unconditionally because he first loved you and you're born again and you're connected to heaven by grace through faith, you exit that economy of love. You exit that economy of good treatment and kindness. But instead, you are plugged into the everlasting source of goodness and kindness. So you don't need to go tit for tat ever. You, you can forgive people immediately. Your source is not them reciprocating what you did for them. Your source is not justice right here, right now between you and them. But rather, it's that God sees you and he's going to fulfill all your needs forever. Now, there is a day of justice. Don't get it twisted. But you don't need to exact that yourself. You don't need to make sure that the every cent, every dollar, every penny matches up perfectly. And give with your right hand without your left hand knowing what you're doing. This is incredibly important if you're looking to love people the way Christ loved you. And you might say, man, I struggle with love. Lord, teach me how to love. But one of the first things is going to be forgetting reciprocity. Just do it unconditionally because that's how you love how God loves. In fact, when you do it in a way that's only for reciprocity, it's not really love really because it makes too much sense. Love doesn't really make sense because math goes out the window when you're attached to infinity. But if you want to make it make mathematical sense and you have to rely on a return. I've worked in business before and it's all about what's the rate of return we can get on this. But in ministry, and by the way, your ministry should be every day how you treat people. You just pour in a way that's diligent, in a way that's effective, in a way that's loving. And you trust God to square it all away and make sure that you'll still be able to do it tomorrow. That is what agape love is. We need not an economy of reciprocity because we have unconditional, never-ending love from our God. Praise Jesus, man. Speak to you soon.